All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video today. It's supposed to be a three-day trip. It got reduced to a two-day trip. It's supposed to do eight flights. Now it's reduced down to just one working flight. And then I have two deadheads. Cool thing about this is I'm still pay protected. Sitting here right now in the lobby, waiting to board the plane. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the ghost town we got going on here. It's been pretty airy at the airport lately. Doing what I can to just take it in because this is gonna change at some point. So I'm just trying to enjoy the quiet and peace that we have here. What we do, hoping that it does get better sooner than later. All right guys, really quickly, I wanna introduce you guys to Kelvin. Kelvin is a AO lead agent. Yes. So, uh, How's it been going? It's been pretty quiet here for you yes, guys. Yes, man. It's been really slow, yeah. really quiet. Like a ghost town in Japan. Yes, yeah. ghost town, dude. Are you on break right now? Just yeah. taking it in? Yeah, on break. Cool, man. Walking around, see our crew members. No, no, no. Problem. Yeah. No travelers. Which that's a good thing, you know? Yeah. Stay home. We appreciate home. you guys that are staying home. Wash your hands, stay home. Yeah, I'm trying to get some masks myself because uh, they they're not going to supply us masks here. So we have to kind of get our own. But I've literally been working the past eight days and I just got on this two day trip. So it'll be like 10 ish days now working. So I haven't had time to get a mask because I would wear a mask if I can. And then I have gloves in my bag and sanitizer. So what are you guys doing to kind of, you know, mitigate? exposure to people like are you yeah, guys just just keeping distance keep distance yeah, I don't know. Six, feet. six feet man six feet, <laughs> six feet right i know I should, I should bring a ruler on the airplane with me and just like walk around with a ruler six feet guys six feet six feet thanks kelvin appreciate okay. it man yeah. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen would be great We made it to Fort Lauderdale uh, right now, I'm just downstairs waiting for the van to come pick me up. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Chris, I'm a flight attendant. I document the life of a flight attendant and the life of an Army National Guard soldier, trying to give you guys insight on my journey in becoming an Army pilot. Right now, we're just gonna sit back, relax, and uh, figure out what we're gonna do here on this layover. I have a 3 p.m. report time tomorrow, so we get all day and some of the afternoon to kind of just hang out and maybe work out. I'll give you guys a little more insight on what it's like to work during this pandemic. I ended up having the wrong setting on my camera for the rest of the trip so I have all the video footage but there's no audio it really wasn't much that went on with the trip so you didn't miss much I basically had a three-day trip reduced down to a two-day trip and I was supposed to do eight flights got reduced down to one working flight and then I deadheaded twice that was about it I got paid protected which means I got paid for all the trips that were canceled um, I ended up doing a workout at the hotel I ordered Chipotle to bring you guys some value in this video because when I was recording at the hotel there was like a couple of key points that I remember talking about and one of them was taking the positives out of this whole pandemic and um, I know there's lives being lost I don't want to take away from anyone that has lost their life or lost a family member to this because you know that is that is tragic I'm sorry but there's always a silver lining in 
any type of bad situation or scenario. And I was thinking about it the other day and you know, the reduction of traffic, the amount of people working from home, you got kids doing online classes, college kids doing online classes, getting the same degree. College, inflated, prices are inflated to get, you know, some kids are paying 40,000 to $100,000 a year just to go to college. I think that's gonna recorrect, you know, the college market. I think businesses are gonna realize that, hey, we don't need full workforces at our office building. We can have half of our staff work from home, half work from an office building. So that would lead to reduction in emissions from traffic, from pollution for cars. Businesses might look at, you know, reducing office space because they don't need to man as many employees, which is gonna reduce the amount of electricity they use, water, sewage, everything. So I think there's, there's a lot of pros and positives that could come from this whole situation. I think the biggest being, you know, pollution and the emission of uh, fossil fuels. That's my, my take on that. Um, it also is April. That means it's quarter two of the year. So what I do is I always, each quarter, I sit down, reflect on my past goals, and then I rewrite some new goals. Most of the time, when quarter two comes around or quarter three, whatever next quarter is, I look back at my past goals and I'm like, oh wow, I didn't really, I didn't push myself. I didn't, you know, make that goal much tougher. I, that's kind of how I, how I look at it. And I'm like, okay, I need to up it this time. So sometimes like, I'll revert back to my quarter one goals or my goals in the previous quarter, and I'll be like, okay maybe that was you know playing it safe i need to up that i set it up in like different categories i'll have one as in relationship goals so goals that i want to accomplish within my relationship and i'll create like a list of things that i want to do and how i'm going to accomplish it and why it's going to make it better and then i get health goals same thing financial goals I'll do brand business development goals and then social media goals. Since it is April, I highly encourage you guys to just sit down and think about your goals. Um, we have so much free time right now. You know, not, not everybody is, you know, pushing to start a business or whatever, you know, but there are some types of goals that people have that they kind of have put on the back burner because they haven't had time. Who knows how long this social distancing is gonna last. I highly suggest just sitting down, writing down your goals, and then, you know, kind of plan it out in 30 day increments because however long this social distancing lasts, try to accomplish one thing within 30 days is my challenge for you. With that being said, one of my biggest goals is to get my Archer Elite up and running. So that's kind of like, if you guys have been seeing, even at the beginning of this clip, I posted the little promo intro that I created of Archer Elite. And um, if you guys like that, if you like the logo, if it's something that you guys see yourself wearing, let me know. Because I, I believe by the end of this month, I should have the Shopify store up and running for Archer Elite. Archer Elite is gonna be, it's gonna be more than just like a clothing line, but it's gonna cater towards more like fitness apparel. And then I'll have some travel apparel in there too. And then um, I'd love to really start creating like items that I use on my layovers and just brand it with Archer Elite. I have bigger goals that are in the works for the end of the year and uh, I'm super excited to share those with you when I start to get it moving you know I'll, I'll give you guys little snippets and sneak peeks of what I'm working on because it's something that I've really wanted to start and grow and build since the start of this journey it's one of those goals that you look at and you're just like uh, I don't know if I can do that but you know one thing that I've really realized with starting a YouTube channel was that you know, when I first started, I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that, like, um, cause I'm like introverted. So I'm not really, you know, I can, I can talk to someone and sit there and socialize, but I kind of have to like warm up to that person, you know? So my biggest thing was with starting YouTube was to kind of push past my fears of talking and socializing and kind of be more outgoing. You know, just the thought of YouTube, I was like, I don't have the personality to be on YouTube. And that's, that was kind of like my mindset back then. and. I decided to set a, a fear list, a list of fears that I wanted to tackle throughout the years, and I've been tackling those. And you know, I feel way more comfortable in front of the camera. So if you guys are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, there's no better time than now. You know, one of the biggest things that I hear from everybody when they're starting YouTube is they don't, they're like, I don't have, a, I don't have an interest in life. I don't have anything to talk about. 
And you know, I kind of thought the same thing. No matter how boring you think your life is to yourself, it's gonna be interesting to someone else. Let's just hope that this this whole thing, you know, passes by sooner than later. And um, if you guys are affected by the coronavirus or someone in your family, I'm truly sorry about that. And um, I hope they have a quick recovery. Yeah, thank you to all the nurses, firefighters, you know, paramedics, EMTs, you know, grocery store workers, any essential worker that is working right now um, and putting themselves at risk and danger to to get the virus. Um, I really appreciate it, and I, I just want to thank you guys. And um, you're the reason that everybody is still going today. So. Thank you. Also, if you are wondering, my dad did drop off some masks and gloves. So my next trip, I will have some masks and gloves. So thank you, dad. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care.